All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I want to thank you for tuning into my channel today. I appreciate it very much. I've got something that I want to show y'all. I'm very excited about it. Drove 12 hours south, almost all the way to Miami. Drove down to Palm Bay, Florida to go pick this up. Wasn't really looking for anything. This just kind of come along. I saw it. I decided I wanted it. So down south, I went to go pick it up. Uh, had a little bit of an in interesting trip, but me and my wife went down there and scooped it up. So as y'all can see, it's right here behind me. Where in the... Hold on. There it is. This is my new 2020 RT-188 Ranger. Aluminum, of course. I can't get away from aluminum. And this is it. Charcoal lime green it's a uh, metal flake charcoal colored law lime green accents um lime green on the seats you know it is carpeted i do have uh did get carpet i did love my vinyl and my tracker but you know carpet is definitely going to have its advantages you know as far as some cushioning and uh, it's going to get a little bit dirtier but it is what it is it has an 80 pound four tracks on the front of it and has a 115 Pro XS Optimax. And I know y'all are probably saying, if this is a 2020 boat, why does it have a uh, two-stroke motor on it? They don't make them anymore. Well, what happened was the original owner bought uh, a Ranger RT-188 brand new in 2014 with this motor on it. And he had some hull issues and Ranger gave him a whole brand new boat. And after he got the new boat, he decided he wanted to get a big old Falcon, like a 21 footer. So, uh, so he decided to, to sell this. So he uh, did a consignment deal with Aquatech Marine in Palm Bay, Florida. I saw it on their Facebook page and I just kind of fell in love with it and decided I wanted to go and get it. I've been wanting a boat with a little bit more room and you know, a little bit bigger boat and wanted to go a little bit faster. I have had this boat out on the water uh, I think three times I did fish a t one tournament out of it, which y'all will be seeing after this video. And it does, it does great. It runs like 46 right now with just me in it. Uh, with my tackle, I am getting a jack plate installed on it at Angler's Choice Marine next week. So I will have a four inch manual jack plate on it. Four inch is the max that you can do uh, with the warranty. To, to keep the lifetime hole warranty. Got an eight foot talon on here. Uh, that thing is pretty darn nice, I will admit, especially pulling the boat up when you're uh, getting ready to put it up on the trailer and you get to the boat ramp, you put that bad boy down. She's locked in, uh, you know, got boat buckles on it. Just a really nice boat. I mean, I, I love it. I got a good deal on it, I will admit. Got a really good deal on it. And I did, it came with a, uh, with a four like a hook four on the front. I did put a new mount and a hook seven up on the front. I just did that today. So ran that, uh, you know, ran my transducer right here to the bottom of the uh, trolling motor head. Got that done and, you know, nice trailer. It has a, uh, like an armor coat coating on it, kind of like a bed liner style coating on it. And, you know, I love the console. This is a gel coat console, fiberglass nice gauges the uh the guy that had it before me i guess on a 2014 he got transferred over a water pressure gauge and then a hour meter of course you have rpm gauges and all that it is just a hook five in the dash right here i'll probably get that upgraded at some point but right now that's okay you know up on the front of the boat is where i like my better unit to be but has under the seat storage I have some tools and some jumper cables under there, my temporary trailer tags right now, prop wrench, but this goes all the way across. I, I really like how, how the, uh, the storage under the, under the seats just goes all the way across. Pull that bad boy up. You can see, you know, I've got my life jacket, throwable device under there. A lot of storage up underneath the seats. They go down. Then you have these storage compartments here. Have my way bag, coal floats, some my wipe down rags, and then my fire extinguisher, and then my scale right there. Of course, live well is right here. It has a really, really deep live well, way deeper than my tracker. So, really nice live well on it. 
my tracker was like an 18 gallon i think and this one's probably like a 25 gallon or something so we're gonna climb up in the boat and i'm gonna show y'all kind of how i got my storage up front set up and uh you know just kind of go over the boat with y'all all right so i'm here in the boat i'm gonna go ahead and raise up the rod locker this rod locker is huge it's comparable to a, a big glass boat uh you know raise it up i have you know rods in here i have my uh 3700 tackle boxes it'll they'll go three across and then i have some smaller boxes there at the end uh you know buoy markers little retriever here and then i got several rods and then rod socks in there you know my spinnerbait box is right here and uh lights and stuff in there and then i did install up here you can see i have my soft plastics lined up i'm fishing a tournament tomorrow so kind of getting ready for that you know putting what i may be using in that but basically i just use like these clips like you use for uh you know um to put papers together and just kind of screwed them up there with self-tapping screws you can see how i did it and that works really nicely you can take that and you know set it down and no issues there and i mean actually that's holding right many soft plastics and it's uh you know it holds them pretty darn good so great big uh rod locker on this boat i really like how much room it has you know my tracker had nowhere near that much room so liking that you know it has an integrated tool holder right here that i don't have anything in right now but that'll end up with some in it but these side boxes were just like on a bass boat you basically have to you know kind of undo your rods and set them off to the side but they're falling over but this right here this one i have you know just my rope i mean it's, it's great big y'all can see it's big but i have spare line here food in here and then i have another box i can't remember oh got my rain suit in there i couldn't even remember what in the world i had in there but i mean these compartments right here are just huge i mean look at all the room i have left in that one so and these are lockable as well so you can lock them up and then on this side i have i'll take my rods and pull them in this way and then on this side is where i have a lot of my soft plastics i have you know like i said so much room i have a little trash can right here then i have soft plastics this is my worms and flukes and stuff and that one and then i have my crawls and creature baits and this one here and horny toads and then in this one here i have just kind of you know new chatter baits new buzz baits a bunch of new uh, pad crashers down there in the bottom just kind of newer hard bait style stuff right there uh, frogs and stuff so i mean great big storage i mean i could i can take this out and y'all can see you know it goes all the way back it goes all the way back to right here so all kinds of room uh in here and i got everything these compartments i've heard they're fairly waterproof but not you know not the best so i still keep everything in a uh in like a tupperware style container so if it does rain everything doesn't get soaking wet but like i said all these right here are lockable you know they're typical just like on a fiberglass boat you do that there and lock them down recess trolling motor pedal that's standard like i said it has an 80 pound thrust four treks on it i am a motor guide guy but this four treks is uh is pretty nice i've used it i've used it some now and i'm just trying to get used to the trolling motor pedal i'm so used to using a, a motor guide where you're darn you know your button to get it to run is on the right side but it's all good and then aquatech marine which when the motors flip down it's right side up but they gave me this cool uh trolling motor wrap to uh, keep all my cables and everything you know organized and like i said aquatech marine is where i bought the boat from you know great dealership palm bay florida i dealt with josh and you know everything went smoothly let me run the boat they did everything i asked you know compression tested the motor everything and uh, everything's great the motor does to have 275 hours on it and an 81 year old guy had this boat before i bought it so pretty sure everything it, nothing's hurt but it runs like a top it runs like a top i'm uh very happy with it so you know trim navigation lights up front right there and then like i said i put a hook seven uh up here on a mount 
and I am going to get a little bit sturdier mount. This is this is one that uh, that was given to me. It's a nice mount, but it's not quite as heavy duty as what I would like. I do run in some rough water. You know, normal water, this will be fine. I mean, it moves a little bit, but I got it uh, bolted down with big washers underneath the deck. So it's not going anywhere. That's just nothing under the deck is moving. That's just what's above it. Just kind of the plastic is just kind of kind of moving, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm fishing a tournament with it tomorrow, and we're not going to do a lot of, a lot of beating around out there. So, but uh, basically, you know, that's kind of the boat. Um, you know, like I said, it was kind of a purchase on a whim type purchase. And, but I got a really good deal for it. And I just couldn't, I just really couldn't pass it up. To me, the boat is huge compared to what I'm used to. It's so much bigger than my tracker. It fishes so much bigger and it feels so much bigger. It just feels like a, a great big glass boat. And, you know, I mean, you can see, I mean, it's wide. The back, the back deck is absolutely just massive um you know it's just got a huge back deck and i mean a huge front deck too i mean i'm standing way back the front deck is more than more than seven and a half foot long you know from the back to the front it's just a it's just a really big uh big boat big wide floor you know i got my talon remote right there of course you know all your standard stuff here it has a horn bilge pump has a uh, extra accessory switch right there has interior lights has an led light up under here when you cut it on it lights up the floor and uh, you know navigation lights and of course the uh, live well and it has the ranger live well research empty and auto for your live well so you don't have to put a plug in it so that's really nice it does have the center seat in it and i'm probably going to get a center console put in it ranger makes one that matches the uh the console right here but that'll be just sometime in the future i'll get that but Anyway, I just wanted to show y'all my new boat. I hope y'all really like it. I know I do. And I'm going to be able to bring y'all some really good content out of this. And, you know, maybe even fish some bigger tournaments. And, of course, I'm going to be fishing Gaston this fall. Like I said, I got a tournament tomorrow on the Chick River. So, hopefully, uh, I can get my first win out of this bad boy. I don't know. We'll see. So, anyway, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time on Gunfish TV.